power for the eye, more than once, and this is Overlord once again. More flamethrowers, Lord. Yeah. Lordo must have sent them here to clear out the slugs. Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. So. Green. Let's just have the greens run around and stab them in the back. Okay. That plan backfired horribly. Real bad. That went, like, about as poorly as it could possibly go. And that's not a good thing. All right, back away from the explody bastards. Hurry up and explode. I, I want you dead. There they go. And maybe revive somebody. Uh, not an option. Fantastic. Well, hope I don't need green or blue or red minions. Well, I already got some reds, but I hope there's nothing that requires green or blue minions, because I don't know if I'll be able to get any more in here. Plenty of browns, though. That's always a nice thing to have. The brown minions. They know how to take a hit. They know how to slaughter some little bastards. And the blues know how to revive people, which is a very useful skill. Now, let me... Ah, there is a blue minion gate here. I didn't need all them browns to be in this. These levers control hmm. the furnaces below. Is that so? I probably could have flipped that switch and used it to distract the flamethrower dwarves with slugs. I could have did it, but I didn't do it because I wasn't thinking. I just thought of how funny it would be to watch my army get incinerated. And granted, it was funny, but ultimately unproductive. Like, it was probably the worst thing I could possibly have done. Now, is there any way of covering up this slug hole? That would be nice. Covering up that hole so no more slugs come spilling forth into the world. Return it to the tower, and we will make you something suitably befitting. Yeah. That smelter is good for a quick getaway, Master. Unfortunate. Search out a route for it. Yeah, that's the downside. I can't take it straight to that waypoint gate that I saw earlier. Oh, look, another spell. Ah, I'm gonna have to come back for that once I've secured the smelter. Because I don't feel like escorting a smelter and a spell to deal with that. Hold off on the smelter, my little friends. I have need of your services. Right here. Flip it a switch. That way the slugs don't get incinerated. And we can deal with these dwarves. Have the slugs deal with them for me. Yeah. The dwarfy slug battle rages on. Except it would probably be much faster to just kill the damn dwarves. And I'll need to be flipping them switches. To take care... To... To open the way for those smelter-carrying minions. That's what I need to do. Let's put some boys on that smelter. Carry it for me. And... Alright. Wait for it, and switch! There we go. And all y'alls get down there! It won't fit, sire. Yeah, now just kill them, revive the it's too dead. Narrow, sire. What are you it's talking too about? Narrow, sire. What's too narrow? I'm not trying to move the smelter to be something that's too narrow! That just ain't what I'm doing. And there also is something over there that I want to look into. And you need to fuck off, you little slug bastard. Let's send you guys up here and 
hit that switch for me, I saw something. Uh, there. Okay, good. I saw something over here that's worth investigating. It's a big bag of gold, which I will come back for later. That's what I'm gonna do. Come back for that at a later time. Now flip it a switch for me. Switchy flippy. There we go. And now we can get back to moving the smelter. Once the smelter's secure, I will return for the spell and the big gold sack. Now all y'all little bastards get out there and grab that thing. There we go. Smelter is there. I just incinerated a couple of my dudes. Well, one of my dudes. That's acceptable losses. One casualty versus getting this goddamn smelter up on out of here. It's fine, I can deal with it. I can find more life force. He's replaceable! And now let's just open this thing up. Get it all open! Kill some sluggy boys! That's a whole lot of slug! And a real big one at that! And it looks like I might be able to light that thing that he's sitting on. That's what's producing those things. I can't hmm. look. Hit it. Hit it until it stops. Yuck. Yeah, I will do that. I will do just that. Minions, I order you to throw your lives away in an attempt to kill this thing. Do not fear. Your overlord is here to assist you. I have a flaming sword of death and dismemberment. This slug will not live too long. There we go. So, are all the slugs just gonna leave? They just seem to not do anything. They are just, they are just sitting there. Ah, that is definitely a problem. Well, nothing that a big bunch of fire can't solve. And, yep, ain't no more reviving them. They all gone, permanently dead, never to return! It's to be expected that you would suffer casualties, working your way through such a dangerous place. But look at that. We got ourselves a smelter! The Arcadium smelter now belongs to me! And then I'm gonna go back for that spell in that big gold sack. This place might be better for farming red life force than that place over by Heaven's Peak. It just might be what with all these red bugs around, and a decent source of gold, I might add. Nice little section here. If I'm ever running low on reds, I'll just have to remember that. Now, on to the spell. Let's go get that spell. And perhaps that big bag of gold, and by perhaps I mean most definitely, we are getting that big bag of gold. We'll just grab that along with the spell. Now, is this the eruption spell? Like the step above the flamethrower spell eruption? I like that spell. You just stick your hand up and then fire shoots up out of the ground beneath people's feet. Always a good time, that one. And the gold cannot leave the gold behind. This has been a very fruitful endeavor. I got me a new smelter, a giant ass bag of gold, and a new spell. 
Well, at least I'll have the gold and the spell as soon as these little bastards hurry up and drop them off on the waypoint gate for me. Then I'll be able to head back to the tower, put that gold to use in the way of making myself some new armor. A new set of Arcanium armor with a sword to go with it. And there we go. Money and magic. Inferno's voracious blighter. Ah, that's what it is. He likes to spread himself around, so he's particularly good for damaging several enemies at once. So it was called Inferno, not Eruption. There it is. That is the spell. It eats a lot of magic. But it does a lot of damage. Now let's get that armor, shall we? It's the Arcanium Smelter. Yeah, it the is. The Smelter of Smelter, sire. Mm -hmm. It will allow you to create some truly superior weaponry and armor. Fantastic. Greetings! Shut up! Now let's go see about that yeah. Smelter. See what good we can do. And of course, by good, I mean, oh, such evil. That is what we are here for. We are here for evil, not good. Now, give me that Arcanium Sword. Of course, with a healthy dose of red minions to make myself a nice flaming sword of death and dismemberment. It must be on fire, or it's not worth it. The smelter needs feeding, Master. And what the hell do you think is happening? I mean, you know, do you not see all these red minions diving headlong into the liquid metal that is the smelter? Yeah, look at that sword. Not a very big and bright flame, but it's a nice metal that it's made of. And now for the armor. Arcanium armor with some greens, so my health just regenerates over time. And, of course, throw some browns in there. There we are. Keep it. Wake up. This yep. Good armor that will heal me and block good damage. Into the fiery abyss you go! Yep, there they go. All dominions diving into their own death to make my armor great. They are very loyal. Yeah! I got the Arcanium now! And make me a helmet. A nice Arcanium helmet. And let's... I'm not gonna go throwing any minions into that, though. I don't feel like getting a bigger horde that way. That's like cheating. Ghibli, see to the master's yeah, look at that thing. You could fucking impale a goat with that helmet. Don't know why you'd want to impale a goat with a helmet, but you can. I know what it is! I own the tower! I live here! Really? Shut up! If that... Which way leads out of here? I... I don't think it was this way, was it? Because... It... Well, it might be. It might be that way. And... Your uh, little flamethrower guys might want to pay attention to that bug that's chewing out your back. If you were to focus on that, I'd be able to send the greens in to do some backstabbing. Yeah! Stabity back! Stabity back! Stab him in the back and get out of there! Probably would have been faster to just go back to the tower gate that was outside of the Arcanium Mine. That would have been the way to do it. Now, just take care of him. And I'm not even sure if this is the way back. It's probably not. I'm probably just wasting my time here. Now hurry up and explode so I can go by and make sure this is the right way. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, not the right way. God damn. This is what I get from trying to make things go faster and doing them wrong and making them take even longer. Is this an elevator over here? Is that the way that I came in? It's a fucking elevator. God damn. I'm a stupid. I am not a smart, I am a dumb. Now, let me just ignore these flamey bugs. And... Ow. Get out of my way, you little bastard. I want to go up here, and this doesn't lead anywhere. Ah, this ain't good at all. This is very horrible, and I don't have any blues with me, so all of these casualties are permanent. Fantastic. Well, we had a very successful run in the Arcanium Mine. And then, utter disaster upon leaving. And all for nothing because there was nothing else to explore over here. Just a nice farming spot for red life force. And a, a very unfortunate graveyard for many a minion. A truly tragic loss after such great gains. But they do say... Every dark has the light with it. There's a silver lining to all the bull donkey that's going on in life. You just gotta be looking for it or else you'll miss it. That's the way of it goes. Uh, it's the way of the life, the circle of the going around. And what's more is... I'm all that time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye!